Hello Transformers fans, it's Speedball Harrow and today I got for you guys from the brand Trumpeter and from the Bumblebee movie, the Transformers Smart Kit Blitzwing. And yes, I will state this right now because I have been asked this in the past. Uh, this is a model kit, guys. It's not a fully a transformable figure, guys. So, you know, just a heads up. So yeah, let's get on. As you guys can see, this is, of course, the movie Blitzwing and all of his non star scream like design <laughs> yeah i know I, uh, that was a fun joke when that first came about but yeah as you guys could see this is a really cool detailed model and yes everything you see on him right now is exactly how he comes out of the box literally nothing you don't have any stickers for this kit that's what's so much fun for this i mean the only thing you'd have to actually do extra if you wanted to you don't honestly have to it's just a little paneling like i did i I always do that, but you don't honestly have to. Everything else, the white, the sticker logos all over him, everything you see is out of the box, pretty much. The only thing I added extra just for the fun of detailing is the facial section right there. Uh, I added a little silver paint to it to bring out the facial features because it is uh, in the same dark gray you see up on the head. So, yeah, but everything else, like I said. State it to you guys, and of course, we'll take the stand off so you guys can look. Now, this isn't, of course, any pre position pose. You can, of course, fully articulate any pose you want out of this guy. See, fully articulated, posable, detailed, all that. That's what's so much fun with this brand's uh, line of models. I do like that about them. And to show off articulation, we'll just do a quick look. About that far before bumping into armor. Yeah, that far, armor and such. Full double knee bend. Gotta love that. Foot articulation, of course. Arms go about that far before hitting the armor. They can go out. It's pretty much all the way around up to they hit the wing. And, of course, they do have an elbow bend, and they do have an arm twist as well, see? It's a tight joint, too, so it's not a bad thing. It just means it won't loose up on you. But, you know, be a little careful, because I have seen, uh, when I, like when I built the Bumblebee kit, they have um, some of the plastic joints can break if you push too hard on them. Luckily, this guy, however, I did not have any real issues with that. The ankles are usually the problem section that I've noticed, but this one, no, I didn't have that problem. So that was a good fact about it. And as you can see, a little swivel there. Hands are fully articulated. As you know, you can twist them all around. And you can, of course, pop them off if you want to change hands up. See? And yes, they are detailed as well. And yes, you do get a full set of hands for this guy for both sides. So if you didn't want this really nice looking weapon he has right here, guys, you can easily just pull it off. Though it might get stuck in the arm. I had that a few times. And give him his really cool attack with his, well, <laughs> I want to say blade, but uh, it honestly looks more like a, a bee stinger. Or something like that. He he jacked Bumblebee's sting, stinger, guys. <laughs> but yeah, you can swap out hands easily. And such. I, I just recommend keeping this really cool gun on him. <laughs> this looks really nice. And oh, the cool detail about this guy is his uh, shoulder setup here. Once I move that out of the way. And just shine a little extra light. As you can see it is ball jointed. But the cool part is is the shoulders actually have a little extra articulation. See? So you can actually extend the position you want them in. That's really nice. I don't believe the Bone Bee had such range. It has similar, but it does not have this kind of range, though. And yes, uh, if you're curious, the wings have a little bit of uh, ball-jointed articulation to a, you know, a point. So yeah, you can definitely move the wings up and down to do certain poses with them and such. So yeah, pretty cool. Love it. 
And yeah, everything you see is really detailed. I loved how this came out of the box, guys. It's just like the previous and all the current, well, all the future ones. Uh, they do really nice detailing out of, before you even open the box. I just, I love that about this kit and their brand, like I've mentioned. Uh, let's see. And of course, as I mentioned, uh, he does come with a little extra besides, of course, the hands. Let's put that down for a second. You, of course, get this really nice stand, which I have seen um, a number of Transformer brands using this now. Uh, not many yet, but I'm sure this is going to become a standard for a number of brands. And it's really easy to build. It's just simple joints, but it's cold. it holds together pretty well. See? I can shake this, and it's not going to move that much. But the best part, of course, is that each one of these kits specifically comes with a Decepticon and Autobot logo. So, you know, just for the fun of it, if you wanted to customize this guy into like a, ooh, like a shattered glass or just an Autobot drone. Yeah, whatever you want, guys. You got logos. You're going to have a Decepticon and Autobot. Every one of these Trumpeter kits will have this exact same runner, which is cool because the way the runner has it, you can actually connect bases together. So that means if you have, well, just for, say, Bumblebee on his action stand, you can now, for fun, click them together, and you got a setup where you can, of course, display them in a battle pose. That, or if you get a number of Autobots, Decepticons that they release, you can, of course, do, you know, faction setups. It's really nice. And other than that, guys, um, you only get a small amount of leftover parts, actually. I was a bit surprised with this one, because I don't remember any of this with the Bumblebee kit, as you guys can see with the runners I have here. You got this part right here, which is the one part I am honestly confused about. It's this one right here. I, I'm i not sure what it's for. And I know you might be asking, well, just look at the manual, right? Well, I have. I've, I've looked. Unless I've somehow missed it, uh, I have double-checked the manual, and I just cannot seem to find that part in here. I don't know why. I don't know what it's for, and it wasn't in the Bumblebee kit either. So uh, it's an odd part. I don't know if it's for something you know, later on, because as you can see here with the manual specs, this is the only mention of it, and it shows X's through the parts you don't need, and of course you don't need the Autobot logo if you don't want. Uh, but yeah, you get some leftover parts. These are just extras, but this part, like I said, I just don't know. It's an odd thing. They give us a part we don't need. Interesting. I don't know if it's for something later on, or maybe it's for a different mold. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, but other than that, uh, yeah, that's it for that. You get just extra hands, like I mentioned, and such. So yeah, while we're at, now that we're at it, let's take a quick look for scale comparisons because I know I've been asked this before. Uh, how small is this guy? Because it says they're like three centimeters, stuff like that, on their product pages. Well, I'll yeah, I'll simplify it to you guys. This is your Blitz, and just for example, I have you here from the Transformers Kingdom line, Rat Trap. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's not that far off, guys. <laughs> so now you can actually have Blitzwing fighting Rat Trap for the fun of it, <laughs> just, just because. And let's see, what else do I got for you guys? Um, I have my old Gabaya Warfare Cybertron Optimus Prime kit, so... Yeah, keep in mind, these are small kits, and um, it's not that far off. <laughs> and for those who have seen any of my recent Transformer bot kit vids, my recent KBB Megatron model kit, I must mention. And as you can see, that's the one part I love about this kit line. It lines up perfectly with other brands' kits that are the same scale. Ah, oh, I love that part. Now I can actually have a Megatron with my movie, well, my Bumblebee movie line of kits, <laughs> which we were sadly, well, never given. <laughs> uh. So yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's pretty it, guys. Uh, quick answer: Do I recommend this? Yes. If you're a model kit fan, you want something simple, something fun, or you know, something to change up what you normally would build easily. These are simple builds, fun to do. You know, 
And if you're Transformer fans and, you know, you don't want to just have, you know, you want to try something a little different out of your normal. Yeah, these little guys are perfectly fun. And yes, even if you're not too fond of uh, non-transformable Transformers, to be fair, we have been getting a number of non-transformable figures and such for a while now. So, you know, it can't hurt. Plus, the fact is because of the size of these little guys, if you happen to have a Titan class figure or a really cool uh cybertronian diorama or you know base setup this would be a really cool display piece you could have you can have displayed on them i think that would be really cool so yeah that's uh pretty it for the day guys uh, i thank you all for coming i always thank you guys for your support i hope you're enjoying your hobbies and um yeah that's it for today guys but i will say oh before i actually forget this sorry uh i can't wait for the next stuff to be coming out for this brands because I know it's going to be something many fans are going to like, and that is the upcoming sound wave that this brand is doing. I cannot wait for that figure because not only is it the uh, B version, it's also fully articulated as Ipsonia, but it also comes with a Ravage, which is interesting because it's actually articulated. I cannot wait to build that. Ah, oh, there's so much I want to try with that kid. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. Uh, thank you all for coming.